Hi, yeah. Um, I wanted to do a video because um, some don't watch the Q and A's because um, they're too long, and a lady was saying that she really liked the the little ones. So I'm gonna do a little video. Um, I um, I wanted to do because I think we've spoken more about this on the Q and A's, um, and I sort of wanted to more clarity to help you guys just how I perceive things. So this is about the soul, the soul, the spirit and the light bodies and um, and how they work together. And um, I had an incident with it going to a soul the other day and it was fascinating. I loved it. It was like really quick and easy to get to information that would sometimes would take me a long time to understand um, when looking at somebody and how the soul can really help, especially when I'm working with somebody. So, um, the souls, um, our souls actually are, are not, it, they look, they're round, there's like this round ball of energy, and to me they look very milky white, like a milky white energy, and these, and um, this, our souls produces light bodies, now it's our light bodies that help create physical reality, and get us to project physical reality so we could be here um so they produce light bodies so say you've got um, a soul and it's out in the universe and can produce many many light bodies so you can be you can be potentially living many many lives all at the same time and the reason we live many 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 lives at the same time one to experience lots of things that, you know but also one to evolve quite quickly and the reason they trapped, they trapped all the souls. So when they trapped these souls, it's so that we couldn't, so the soul couldn't produce any more light bodies. It couldn't, it couldn't produce any more light bodies um, into any other, on any other planet and um, make it difficult for us to connect to the soul. Now we, we never lose connection with the souls that's there, but if it, we come out of resonance with our soul, then it's very difficult to get information through. So it's, um, when our when the say for instance when i look at somebody and you know i can look at their physical body doesn't matter where they are in the world but i look at that physical body and i can scan it and okay implants parasites this 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 within their physical body what i see is their light body so you have the male light body and their female light body the female light body represents the the feminine part the heart the left side of the brain and the male is the physical part the the male side the right side of the brain and how these two interact gives me a, a big idea where all the the issues are because these two need to be in union they need to be together in order for that person to create a lovely individual reality for that person now, those two light bodies, so you've got the physical body, the next layer is the light bodies. Behind that is two streams of energy, and this is their timeline. So I can go up and down the timeline, find out where all the trauma is, pull the trauma out and get them to understand their perceptions of the male and the perceptions of the female and, and help them balance out. And then that connects to the, another light body, which is their mum's light body. We're all connected to our mums. We're supposed to break away, but we don't. So that connection to our mum, and then that leads us behind us. We can go out, out of the matrix. Our energy goes out, and then we go into one energy. So instead of two streams, we go into a single stream, which I now call the spirit, or one may know as higher self. So it has the intention for us on that on the life that we're living it holds the intention it can come down and heal so that part of us can heal ourselves it can um um understands us understands our life it understands the the the, the lives that we're all the lives that we're living it has connections to all that it understands um the problems that we have in the in the intention and what, and what struggles we're having in the now so in the last week, I've been connecting with people's spirit, stroke higher self, and they've been giving, okay, this, these are the issues that they, they have. So it's been easy to gain information when going to the spirit as well. It gets sort of different. And it's kind of a more authoritative feeling in the, in the spirit. Um, the spirit doesn't actually have to 
be in reality as such. It's not in reality, it doesn't have to experience. It can sit sit back and 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 it also pulls. So it has like if you if if your intention your intention is to evolve every life, but it if you're going off track, it will try to pull you back on track. And um, it will have a certain resonance that it will try to get to. So, and this is all connected to get to get to the spirit. That information comes from our heart. So we have to really relax the brain. It doesn't come to our brain. It comes through our hearts. And the brain, you know, the heart will pass it over to the brain. So to help us understand what the spirit is saying. Then behind that is the soul. Now, I was working on some, not working on them. I was just looking at somebody the other day. And for some reason, Toto asked me a question and I went straight to the soul. And the soul showed me what this gentleman was, why he was in the situation that he was in. The soul doesn't have judgment. You can have a, you know, you can be having a really, going in a really, really dark direction. You're having a really dark life. You could be, you know, a monstrous person. It's not going to do anything about it because it doesn't see any experiences, dark or light. It's, it's an experience. So um, it doesn't do anything. It just passes information on. As far as well, I'm sure it's far more complicated than this, but this is just what I'm understanding at the moment. Um, yeah. Also, what's quite interesting is that when you every in order you in order for you to evolve, all that information is within you. And I know I say, you know, I've said this before and people, you know, light is within me and, you know, all the information, and everything like that. But it's so now seeing it even on the visual thing, it's so bloody true. So when you ask yourself the question and your male and female light bodies that don't know, that information goes back, back, right back, 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 back to your higher self spirit. It will then go to your soul. And then the soul will send it out, send the question out to the other light bodies to try to find the answer to that question that you're asking. Then that information will be pulled back and then sent back to you whenever that could you know could take a second it could take weeks it could take months I don't know and then um, it, the, the answer may be there I wouldn't be surprised if the answer is there instantaneously and it's not until you get in the right resonance of your spirit that it goes ha ha and you have the ha ha moments and um, so all the information that we need is within us but we have to be at the right resonance um, in order to get that information through um yeah so it's it's fascinating stuff the spirit light bodies and the soul and uh now that the light bodies are free um i suspect or highly suspect that the light bodies our light bodies that are free sorry our souls that are free they'll start producing more light bodies in this universe so our evolutionary rate and our understanding and our everything is going to bloom because the more information, the more experiences that we're having, the more information we can get from our own self and then that will help us evolve even more. I'm sure that came up on another Q&A as well. I'm sure Mark asked that question, but it does make more sense to me now. Okay, you take care. Thanks for listening. Enjoy your weekend. Bye.